Hi students, in this video I am going to explain you about Venn Euler diagram or otherwise we can simply call as Venn diagram. Okay, this Venn diagrams are used to represent the relation between sets. Means what? Union, intersection, subtraction, disjoint, everything can be represented using this Venn diagram. Okay, and this Venn diagram universal set is always represented by a rectangle. So let us see how to draw a Venn diagram for all the operations we have in our sets. Okay students. So first let us see about A union B. A union B means we are having two sets and this here we have a rectangle. Here we have a rectangle and this rectangle is nothing but our universal set U. Okay. And we are having within these two sets that is set A. And these sets are represented with circles. Okay students. This is set A and this is set B. Now union means what? All the elements of A means shared the set A part and all the elements of B. Now shade the B set, total B set. So this is the diagram for A union B. Now let us consider A intersection B. A intersection means the common elements, the common elements in set A and set B. Now let us draw the universal set. Let us draw a rectangle here. Now here we have taken two sets A and B. This is A and this is B. Okay. This is A and this is B. Now intersection means what? Elements within A and elements within B means the common elements. Where will be the common elements? Here see here. Here it is. The elements inside this part gives our intersection. Okay, students. Now, let us consider A minus B. I am drawing a rectangle. This is our universal set. And within this, we have two sets, A and B. This is set A and this is set B. A minus B means what? All the elements in A, but A minus B means what? All the elements in A avoiding the elements in B. See all the elements means up to here we can draw. But here B elements are also there. So avoid that part and shade only the remaining elements of A. This gives A minus B. Okay. Now let us consider B minus A. Again, I have a rectangle here and within this I have set A and set B. Okay, students, this is our set A and this is our set B. So, B minus A means what? All the elements in B avoiding the elements in A. Okay, now all the elements means here up to here we can draw but here we have some elements inside A. So, avoid that. Avoid that and take only the remaining elements in B. So this is the representation for union, intersection and subtraction and also disjoint sets. Disjoint sets means what? The intersection is null set. Means there are no common elements. So this will be our set A and this will be our set B. See, is there any intersection here? No intersection means A intersection B is always a null set. Is it clear students? Let us take one example. Having set A, I am having a set A with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I am having set B with elements 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. 
Now, do you know about cardinal number? Cardinal number means number of elements in set A. Means n of A means number of elements in set A. How many elements are there here? Six elements. What is the cardinal number for B? Number of elements of set B. n of B is equal to how many elements are there? One, two, three, four, five elements are there. Okay, students. First of all, let us represent these sets in a when Euler diagram. So, we have here a universal set. This is our universal set. And inside this, we have set A and set B. Are there any common elements? Observe here. 4, 5, 6 common elements are there. So, draw like this. This is set A. This is set B. See? Now here what are the common elements? 4, 5, 6 for both. So here inside you write 4, 5, 6. Okay students. And here we have 1, 2, 3. So in total here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And in B we have, see here this is our B. And inside B we have 4, 5, 6 and 7, 8. Okay students. Now let us find... A union B for this Venn diagram. A union B is given by, see, all the elements in A and all the elements in B. And keep in mind, elements are not repeated, okay? So, all the elements in A means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And all the elements in B means 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But we have already 4, 5, 6. No need to repeat the elements. Just write 7 and 8 here. Okay, students, now A union B is this one. And write N of A union B. What is N of A union B? Means what? N of A union B is cardinal number of A union B. Number of elements in A union B. So, how many elements are there here? 8. So, the answer is 8 here. Now, let us find A intersection B. Intersection means what? The common elements. See, observe this A diagram. The common elements are 4, 5, 6. Just write this 4, 5, 6 and a 4, 5, 6. Okay, students. Now, what is the cardinal number for A intersection B? A intersection B means number of elements in A intersection. How many elements are there? Three elements are there. Okay. Now, let us find A minus B. A minus B means what's here? Elements of A avoiding the elements of B. See, avoid this part. Then the numbers remaining will be 1, 2, 3. So what is N of A minus B? Just I am recalling cardinal numbers. That's all. N of A minus B is how many? 3. Now let us find B minus A also the reverse way. Now, let us find B minus A. Okay. Now, all the elements in B avoiding elements in A. So, what are the remaining elements? 7 and 8. So, write cardinal number. Just recall the cardinal number. N of B minus A. How many elements we have? We have only 2 elements. And one more thing. I want to uh, draw one diagram. That is A is subset of B. A is subset of B means what? We have a set B. This is set B. And inside this we have set A. See A is subset of this B. Okay. And again B is subset of A means what? We have set A. And we have all the elements inside it are B. Okay. This is A subset of B. And this is B is subset of A. For subsets, we can represent the diagrams like this. Okay, students? Is it clear, students? Now, I am going to give a relation between N of A, N of B, N of A union B and N of A intersection B. Okay? The relation is N of A plus N of B is equal to N of A union B plus plus n of a intersection b or otherwise 
you can transpose this n of a intersection b towards left hand side we will get the relationship as n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b is equal to n of a union b so the relation is about n of a union b is n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b so in the before example we got n of a union b is equal to 8 and n of a intersection b is equal to 3 n of a we have 6 and n of b we have 5 okay students n of a is how much 6 plus n of b is how much 5 minus n of a intersection b is 3 is equal to n of a union b how much 8 okay now 6 plus 5 is 11 minus 3 is equal to 8 so 11 minus 3 how much 8 is equal to 8 here we got lhs is equal to rhs so students we can say that n of a union b is always equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b is it clear students Thank you for watching this video. If you really like this video, please share and subscribe.